What's the real reason behind Olivia Wilde being toxically served with those custody papers by Jason Sudeikis on stage? I'm going to explain it all to you in this video. Hey there, I'm Rebecca Zung. I'm a narcissist negotiation expert and a lawyer. And in these videos, I help you guys escape toxic relationships, help save you from the drama, trauma, and chaos of narcissists so that you can step into lives of freedom, possibility, and purpose. I've written two best-selling books, Breaking Free, A Step-by-Step Divorce Guide, and negotiate like you matter. And I want to help you guys escape too. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Okay. So what's the real reason behind the way Olivia Wilde was toxically crazily served on stage at Comic-Con in Vegas by Jason Sudeikis with these custody papers, that whole massive drama. For those of you who don't know, She was on stage last week presenting about her brand new movie and talking about it. The new movie is called Don't Worry, Darling. And she's literally on stage and somebody comes up to her and hands her this manila envelope. And she says, is this for me? And it says personal and confidential on it. And she opens it up and there's papers inside And she puts the papers back inside and doesn't let on about what they are and just keeps going on. Good for her for being a professional about it and really didn't say, but it turns out that they were custody papers related to custody situation between her and her ex-fiance, Ted Lasso star, Jason Sudeikis, related to the two small children that she has with him. Apparently they had a pretty messy breakup not that long ago, I guess toward the end of 2020, when she moved on with Harry Styles, who she's in a relationship with now. Word on the street is that he was pretty much blindsided by that breakup. He didn't really want it. I guess he's moved on now with a couple of other people. I don't know. There's been talk that he's with this model, Keely, somebody that who had been on Ted Lasso. He was on with her, off with her, back on with her. I don't know. But I guess he was pretty well blindsided by that breakup and wasn't too happy with it. So I guess the custody situation between her and him has been not great. And so it's now been time that he finally draw up the custody papers and have her served with them. So be that as it may, now it was time for her to be served with these custody papers. So what happens that papers need to be served by a disinterested party? Okay. So that means he can't hand them to her. They have to be handed to her by a process server. Do they have to be handed to her on stage? Well, clearly not. Now for Jason's part, I guess, apparently after this happened, he did go on to say that he would never condone that that have happened in that way that apparently he said he didn't know about it, which is Potentially true because the way it happens with process servers is just so you all know, once the paperwork gets filed, once the petition is filed, the complaint is filed, petition and complaint are kind of synonymous, then everything comes back from the clerk of court stamped and ready to go. You have your summons, you have your complaints, you send the package over to the process server process server takes it from there. Process server now has to go track the person down and get it to the person. Sometimes the person avoids being served. So now they got to figure out a way to get it to the person. Now I'm not saying Olivia Wilde was avoiding being served. Maybe she wasn't, but maybe she was. Who knows? But they got to find this person. I mean, I know as a divorce attorney myself, I've had to get people coming off of airplanes on Christmas Eve. You got to find when you know 
the person is going to be in that place because sometimes it's hard to find people. You can't get them to get out of their house, come out. It is hard to get people sometimes. So at least, you know, this process server knew where she was at that point. And you have to serve them in person. You can't email them or something like that. And it can't be through a third party. Like, you know, you have to actually hand it to them. And so I'm sure that that was all happening at that time, because once the person is served, then the process server has to go back to the court and file something that's called an affidavit of service, meaning that they basically are swearing to the court that they actually did serve the person. So clearly that process server did do their job. I mean, they didn't have to humiliate her in front of the world and do it in that way, clearly. But, you know, could they have waited till she was just about off the stage? Obviously, they could have done it that way, but they didn't. Just so you all know, the way family law procedures do also work is that once the complaint is filed, you do have a certain period of time within which that the complaint has to be served. So you can't file it and then leave it sitting there for two years and then decide, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and serve it. So I think that there are times though, however, that people do toxically want to get the other person that people do want to use the process service procedure as an opportunity to humiliate the other person, as an opportunity to kind of punish the other person. It doesn't seem like that was what was going on here. And clearly, when you have to co-parent with this other person, you are going to be in the other person's life for a long period of time, forever, really, but at least until the kids are out of school. So, you know, the real reason behind that was that she did have to be personally served by a disinterested party. And I think that the process server just made a very poor judgment call. Comic-Con did say that they are reevaluating their security and blah, blah, blah. Of course, they had to say that. But just so you all understand that that was what was going on, the custody petition and the summons did have to be personally served by a disinterested party who was the process server And that process server decided to do it in that way. There are times, though, that people avoid service. And I have seen horrible instances of people creating horrible situations where somebody has fled the state. They knew they were going to be served. They avoided service. They fled the state. They went and filed in another state and then got the other person served first so that they were able to create leverage over a narcissist in a different way. And by the way, if you want to know more about how to create leverage over a narcissist, definitely check out my video on that topic. And if you are so ready to slay the narcissist, definitely give me a slay in the comments below, because I know you are also ready to slay the narcissist in family court. Anyway, that's the real reason behind why Olivia Wilde had to be served that way. But did she need to be served on stage in front of the world? Probably not. Could the process server have gotten her as she was going off stage? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, but maybe he wouldn't have been able to catch her that way. I don't know. For sure, he was able to do his job and complete process service that way, and he got it done. So whoever did it got the job done, that's for sure. So I would love to know what your thoughts are. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a share, drop me a comment, and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more information on how to negotiate with narcissists 
and more up-to-date information on becoming more powerful against narcissists because I upload brand new content every single day. It is my mission to make sure that you know how to slay narcissists and negotiate with them in every single way because today is a great day to start negotiating your best life. Make sure that you grab my free Crush My Negotiation prep worksheet at winmynegotiation.com. Make sure you join my free private Facebook group as well, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Sung. And I will definitely see all of you guys in the next video.